I'm so excited to share this free pattern with you today. This is the binge-worthy cowl. And I named it that because this cowl is designed with binge-watching your favorite Netflix show in mind. What's beautiful about it is that once you have the first round set up, you don't need to count your rows, you don't need to count your stitches, you don't even really need to pay attention to what you're doing. You're just going to crochet and crochet basically until you run out of yarn. And since you don't have to watch what you're doing, you could watch something else. So for this pattern, you're going to need about 100 yards of a super bulky weight yarn like this, Meal and Mia's Naturally Soft Super Chunky. And I was kindly sent this yarn by Lovecrafts.com, one of my favorite places online to buy yarn. And let's just say soft is an understatement. This yarn is butter. So grab a 15 millimeter crochet hook and you're going to chain 50 chains. That's right, 5-0. Oh. And I'll meet you back here. Once you've made your 50 chains, you're going to join that chain in the round. Just run your hand along the chain to make sure it's not twisted. Find your very first chain and go ahead and slip stitch into it. And now you're joined in the round. For round one, you're going to chain two. Kind of ignore the stitch we just slipped into and make a half double crochet stitch by yarning over your hook, inserting into the next chain, yarning over your hook, pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook, so you'll yarn over and pull through all three loops to make a half double crochet stitch. Then from now to the end of the round, you're going to chain one, skip one chain, and make a half double crochet stitch into the next chain. Chain one, skip one, one half double crochet, into the next chain. And you're making these half double crochets with little windows of chain stitches in between them. So do that for every chain of your foundation chain and I'll meet you when we get to the end of the round. So I've come to the end of my round and I wanna be super clear about where we work into next. You should have one chain left of your foundation chain. And if you don't, it's really not a big deal. And from now on, we're going to be working in a spiral. And the beauty of that is you won't need to pay attention to your rounds anymore. So to begin our spiral, you're going to chain one. And the space between our initial chain two and our first half double crochet is where you're going to work next. So work your half double crochet directly into that space between your starting chain two and your half double crochet. And from now on, our stitch pattern will be this. You will chain one and make a half double crochet into the next chain space. That's the space between two stitches. Don't work into the chains themselves like that. Work into the space. Chain one one half double crochet into the chain space. And I love working into chain spaces because I feel like I don't need to pay attention as much to where I'm sticking my hook. That's part of what makes this cowl so binge worthy. And you can just work around and around until you pretty much run out of yarn. When you are just about out of yarn, to smoothly finish off your spiral, what you can do is chain one and instead make a single crochet into the next chain space. And then chain one and make a slip stitch into the next chain space. Just to kind of level off your spiral so you can't really tell where your cowl begins and ends. And there you have it. That's the binge worthy cowl. I hope you enjoy it the next time you're re 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 watching your favorite show and show Lovecraft some love for sending me this yarn for free. How cool is that? I'll have all their information linked down below. As well as a link to a free downloadable PDF version of this pattern. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.